So my name is Paul French. I, I have a few different jobs, really. Um, in relation to this study, I was, I was very fortunate and, and proud to be the, the, the PI up in Manchester uh, with some other colleagues. Um, but I do lots of other research. I'm a clinical academic. I work uh, at Pennine Care, uh, do, doing some stuff there for research. I work at Manchester Metropolitan University. But I also have a couple of other roles. I am um, a clinical lead around the Northwest for early intervention in psychosis, and I'm a joint clinical lead at the National Clinical Audit of Psychosis um, around EIP. I think what you have got is you've got a fantastic um, suite of resources, which we know that pretty much every service across England and, and beyond has been working to develop exactly those types of resources anyway. Um, it's great that the health economics data seem to be the one that shone the light on it. I'm not convinced that the, the cost saving is the big ticket. I think the personal impact for you, me and our families of not being in hospital a, a minute, an hour a day longer, that's a real benefit and we can't lose sight of that. And so for me, that is a real positive here that we really need to kind of, you know, shine a light on somehow. It's what early intervention delivers in terms of outcomes. That should be the key metric. We now know that, that around about 50% of people are getting repeated outcome measures. And I think there's been a number of things that have happened in terms of driving people doing outcome measures. And one of them's the work that you've been doing, the work of I2 because it's raised awareness, albeit in a smaller part of the system, but a part of the system that infects others. Um, you've also helped with kind of understanding what a, 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 a meaningful clinical intervention looks like, which the field didn't really know. So I too has been working hard to say, well, actually, if you get a change in this, that's a really good outcome for your, your people who use your services. So. I think we have to be outcome delivered. I think we have to be outcome orientated. I think it's the way that we, we kind of consider um, not only how we commission services, but how service users and carers can judge maybe where they want to go to get a, a kind of a, an intervention. And, and I too has been part of that wider system revolution that there are really two, two parts of mental health that, that are outcome orientated. One's I upped and one's early intervention in psychosis. And I think we can be really proud of where we're at. And I think I too should be absolutely justifiably proud of the, 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 the kind of, the part it's played yeah. in shifting EI services, where we've got around about 50% of people have got regular routine outcome data collection. So I, I think you've done a great job.